Is big tech violating your constitutional rights? You often hear the argument that social media companies are free to censor anyone's speech and deplatform whoever they want since they are private companies and the First Amendment only protects people from government conduct. But that is completely wrong. Here's the thing, we know for a fact that Democrats in Congress, and more recently the Biden White House, have repeatedly threatened social media companies like Facebook and Twitter with penalties and investigations if they didn't deplatform certain people and censor certain speech that Democrats didn't like. And this is illegal. The Supreme Court has repeatedly made clear that the government cannot push private parties to do things that the government itself is banned from doing. Put another way, it is unconstitutional for the government to deputize social media companies to silence people and ideas that Washington politicians don't like. But unfortunately, this sort of thing has been going on for years, and it's really troubling. Whatever your political preference, you do not want politicians deciding what kind of speech is acceptable because one day someone in power will determine that your ideas are dangerous. But there is some good news on this front. We've finally seen somebody push back against big tech government censorship and actually win. Former New York Times journalist Alex Berenson, who was permanently suspended by Twitter last August, recently sued the tech giant and they agreed to reactivate his account as part of a larger settlement. Twitter originally justified their deplatforming of Berenson on the basis that he spread disinformation about the COVID vax. But the company backed off after Berenson obtained communications demonstrating that Twitter removed him pursuant to orders coming from the Biden administration. So Berenson's win is something we should all celebrate. The fact is that social media platforms are no longer just spaces where people share dumb cat videos. They have become the modern town squares where we debate views and get exposure to new information ideas. Let's remember that a free society can't exist without the free exchange of ideas, and today the vast majority of these ideas and important thoughts occur on the big internet platforms where the majority of the human population now congregates. We need to demand an end to the censorship practices endorsed by politicians and big tech platforms. It's illegal, it's immoral, and it goes against everything this country stands for. Like this video, follow me, Ashley Cohn, on YouTube, check out my podcast, Lectile Dysfunction, and go to genbiz.com for more great content.